Okay, chill. Okay, chill. Okay, chill. All right, what's up, Cube Heads? This is a very special Cote's Cube. I have Miss Bethany Edmond, who is uh, famous locally, pretty much globally, um, for getting uh, bit by a shark here in Carlsbad. Yay. That's 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 quite a feat. Um, the chances of getting bit by a shark, as we know, one in a million. Um, give us the the you know I know you've told this story a million times. Give us the the quick rundown, like what happened. Um, I took my water camera out in the water and in the water, of course, and I was taking pictures and I was out for probably about 10 minutes and then I saw a fish jump in front of me and I tried to snap it with my camera, but I was too slow. And, um, then about 30 seconds later, I felt like a sharp, like almost somebody dig their nails into my foot. And so I was like, okay, don't freak out. Like none of your friends are here. Don't be a baby. You're fine. And so I just kept swimming and then I felt another hit to the back of my ankle I was like, all right, it must just be a kicking reef. Don't freak out. You're fine. Stop being a baby. So I just swam away from the area. And then as I'm swimming away, I got hit up and out of the water. And um, at that point, I looked and I saw the shark thrash its tail in front of me. And when I landed down, there's a surfer north of me. And I was like, oh, yeah, fuck me right now. I'm getting attacked by a shark. That's exactly what I said. Exactly pissed off like that. Because I'm like, cool, I get to swim all the way in now. He's bailing. That's awesome. That's just great. So... Anyways, he bailed, and I yelled after him. I was like, hey, bailer, if I die, I hope you feel bad. Just, like, hit the water. So pissed. You were mad. I would have been, like, shitting myself at this moment. So you're, you're pretty brave. Yeah, well, I mean, there was no blood in the water or anything. I was just like, cool, the thing's gumming me. It's just, like, teasing me, basically. And um, after that, I started swimming in, and then it literally felt like somebody pu- pulled my ankle on my left leg and yanked me backwards out of the wave. And so then I turn around, there are two body surfers next to me. I'm like, hey, did you guys pull my leg? Like, that's not funny. I think there's a shark. They're like, no, we didn't touch you. But then they started swimming, and I was like, cool. I'm still the farthest one out. That's awesome. And so then I went for the next wave, and then I felt that same sharp pinching pain. Um, You just held up a sign that says, the shark has good taste. Because she's hot? (laughs) Yeah. Um, Yeah, you're, you're hot. All right. Back to the story. Anyway, so then it bit me on the calf, and then I felt that same, like, pinching pain. I was like, cool, I'm not going to be calm about this anymore, and I just ran out of the water. I was like, I'm done. Gnarly. So, I mean, and then, like, the story started getting around now. Um, on, on the Internet, experts, there's a lot of experts out there. They're saying that the possibility it could have been a baby great white. Yeah. Scripps Institute just uh, called me yesterday and told me that, Although it's very odd and peculiar that I'm not missing my leg, I'm not, I didn't have opposing bite marks, that the possibility that it was a five-foot juvenile white is likely, and they still want to look into it and stuff. Crazy. Now, I know, like, you know, online, obviously, there's, like, comments and stuff like that. There's a lot of, like, doubters, you know, out there going, like, that's bullshit, there's no way. But, like, how, how do you feel about, you know, you, so this crazy thing happens to you and then people calling bullshit on it? Um... I mean, it's going to happen. It happens with everything, you know. If you ever try to do anything and it hits media, there's going to be those people that sit at home and do nothing but creep on the computer all day, and they're going to sit there and put their two cents in. <laughs> yeah, you exactly. Just be like, oh, this didn't happen. Oh, eh. So they can think what they want. I, I'd gladly trade places if we want to go back in time and put them in the water and see how they handled it. I'd love to see that. Uh, I, I wouldn't like to trade places. Now, um, I know that... I'm sure there's a lot of media and stuff like coming at you. What what are some of the interviews and stuff that you've done like since this has happened? Um, so far I did Channel Five, which distorted everything I said. <laughs> and then she added me on Facebook and took a bunch of my personal pictures and then they were all over the news, which I didn't give her permission like to do. Party photos? No, they were like like of my nursing graduation of me like holding flowers and stuff. I'm like, cool, I'm pretty sure I didn't give you permission to use that. That's awesome. And then they found like a couple headshots, and now it's bikini model gets attacked by a shark. That's what we were gonna we were gonna call it, say bikini model get attacked. But, but you know, we're, we're true. We're a very factual show here, at Cote's Cube. We're not like Channel Five and all that. Um, so you know, now that it's happened, like I think we talked a couple days ago. There's like news trucks and stuff outside of your house. Has the has the buzz died down a little bit? No, you know, I thought I'd leave town and people would forget about it since I'm not missing a leg. It barely bit me. I'm like, okay, it's just going to be in the news for a couple of days. No, I came home, had like 15 emails from different people. Animal Planet called and was like, we want to do a show with like shark encounters. Can we use you? I'm like, 
the yeah. price if the price is right exactly you can use it <laughs> well bethany of course came on cote's cube for free because she's carl's bad local and she loves trends with surf right exactly and i love surfers too there you go, surfers out there, and she's brave. Now, um, the dude that le- the dude that left, um, you, you watch your language. But what would you say to the dude that bailed you in the water? Exactly, um, I would say stay in Escondido or Temecula. And don't come back to the beach. Don't want you. <laughs> there you go. All right, we have some readers' questions here. These are purely reader questions. Now, a lot of people want to know. Um, I don't know how to put this, like, lightly. Um, was this, were you swimming? Was it, like, your time of the month? Okay, you guys are, like, the 50th person to ask me that. That's no. Stupid question. Yes, all my guy friends were like, were you on the rag? I'm like, no. Like, no. But okay, so yeah, fact. Was like, that would have sucked. Yeah, fact, uh, fact debunk. Bethany was not um, on yeah. her period. Okay, good. Um, another reader named um, Sam from Escondido says, why are sharks attacking girls named Bethany? I don't think that's a funny question, but, I mean, maybe you have some insight on it. Um, why? Pretty random. Yeah, I don't know. We look good, maybe? I don't I I would agree, yeah. So, um, and the last question for you from a reader named Justin is, will you ever swim at Terramar again? Yeah, I was out there uh, last week, and I surfed there last Sunday, so pretty sure I'm fine. There's only two people in the water. There you I go. Imagine, Did you hear about that attack? What? There's a shark attack? Yeah, you should get out of the water. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah, now you got it to yourself. Yeah. Well, if you guys don't know, the Transworld offices are here in Carlsbad. Uh, the shark attack happened about a mile west. So, um, yeah, a lot of action going down. And, uh, Bethany, thank you so much for being on the Cube. Um, I guess they say lightning does not strike twice. We're going to knock on wood and hope that you're going to be okay. Let's end this on a hug. There you go. Cote's Cube, Bethany Edmonds, thank you so much.